faced with a weighty metre-long sword, it's best to keep your guard up. And here at this converted church in North London, duelists are doing just that. Whether using both hands, shields, sickles or dusts, the rules of combat are simple. Don't get hit. If you get hit a lot, then obviously you're not doing it right. If you manage to hit the other person and not get hit, you're doing something correct. We try and represent this by having a system which um, operates on moving points. So each time you get hit, you lose some points. Each time you get hit again, you lose some points. And if you do this consistently, you run out of points and you die. The Historical European Martial Arts Coalition studies and promotes traditional European fighting arts working hard to promote this medieval form of combat in the modern day. Much of what is practiced is pieced together from surviving manuals and manuscripts. You have to really think about what you're doing. There's a lot of, sort of working out how the techniques work, uh, playing with the techniques because it's, it's based on medieval texts, so there's a lot of interpretation involved as well. In the UK alone, around 1,000 people practice medieval European martial arts, and the revival is in part thanks to the popularity of certain films and TV shows. I think it's driven a lot by things like Game of Thrones, things like Lord of the Rings, where you get people are seeing more um, medieval themed stuff and kind of, I think, getting more interested in what, what were they actually doing. People come to see HEMA initially, they look at it as people banging swords together and have no idea what they're doing. And then once you get into the actual technicality of it, people are hooked. Whether duelling, self-defence or learning combat skills for war, students use very real weapons. Hence the need for reinforced gloves, padded clothing and helmets. Reminiscent of historical gladiatorial contests, at least here, contestants need not lose their life in order to receive applause.